welcome to my channel. I'm Melissa. So before I get into this video, I just want to say a few things. Um, the kids are doing really well. They all are working at Taco Bell. Max and Ethan are about to graduate, which I am super excited about to have two kids graduating and coming up in June. Things have been going very well and I hope you guys are doing well too. So let's get into this video. So I flew out to New Jersey where Jose lives. Yes, he lives in New Jersey. It cost me $28 to get there, which was really cool. So we decided to drive down from Jersey to Florida. This was his first road trip, which road trips are not like what everybody thinks they are. I mean, they're kind of cool, but it's a long drive. Coming into Jersey, we came into Baltimore and then into Washington, DC, to Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and then into Florida. So we had to stop the first day, get a hotel in South Carolina, and then drove the rest of the day the next day to Florida. Along the way, we didn't stop. We drove straight through, well, not straight through, but we didn't stop any places going to Florida. When we got into Florida, came to the house, the kids were here, you know, they got to meet Jose, which was nice and, you know, pretty cool. And that was pretty much it for that day. We just kind of hung out because, you know, you're exhausted from driving all day. The next day, I took him to Pine Island, which is a little beach that we have over here. It's not like the prettiest beach, but it's a cool beach. Um, it has your normal beach stuff. We went swimming and hung out for a bit. You have to be really careful out in the beaches because the rocks tend to have like these seashells that kind of attach the rocks. And as I was coming down off a ledge, my heel hit one that split it open, which sucked. It hurt pretty bad and it hurt for weeks after. It took a while to heal actually. Then we took a drive out to Clearwater Beach. Um, the beaches are much nicer over there. We hung out for the day, took some pictures, went swimming. The water was absolutely beautiful. It was really hot out we were going to stay to see the sunset but when you're just out there all day and the heat is just beating on you and you're just exhausted and we had like four more hours till sunset so we decided to you know call it a day and, and leave jose's son lives out here in florida so for the weekend we drove out to pick him up to hang out with him um, we went shopping went and got stuff to eat and then the next day we did this dolphin adventure that's in tarpon springs you get to go on a boat it's about two hours i want to say they take you out and then you get to see some dolphins which we did and nothing specific spectacular they weren't jumping they were just in their natural habitat swimming around and then they take you to this private island that you get to swim on and pick up seashells and we got some cool seashells you have to be careful because some shells still have living creatures in them and you don't want to take them after that we headed out to the mall to you know just walk around and you know see the mall I guess <laughs> Um, but it was fun and then we headed back home and then we ended up taking his son home on Sunday and we drove out to Orlando for the next two days. That night I took him down to Universal Islands of Adventure place where you can walk around. They have really cool shops, different restaurants and we went to the chocolate factory which was really neat. We got these cool little milkshakes in the mugs and I got to keep the mug. I got strawberry cheesecake which if you like cheesecake it's really good to get because it was really 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 cheesecakey. He got a cookie monster drink. It had a bunch of crumbles of cookies in it. Um, we couldn't even finish them. They were quite sweet. We walked around for a little bit. It started raining, but that didn't stop us. We stayed and we still hung out. We, like I said, we took lots of pictures, which I'm going to show you. It was a fun time. After that, I decided to take him to the City Walk, which used to be called Downtown Disney, which is a little bit different. This place has like more shopping centers. Um, it's free to get in where you, at Universal Place, you have to pay for parking, which this place is free. They have a lot of cool restaurants. They have cool shops. <laughs> shop that was in my name which I thought was really cool check it out it was getting late so we decided to head back to the hotel because the next day we were going to Islands of Adventure so at the theme parks you still have to wear a mask and you have to cover your nose and your mouth at all times no matter if you're outside no matter if you're not around people and let me tell you it was like 90 above degrees probably it was really 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 hot but um you know sometimes you just take it down to, <sighs> you gotta breathe you know but when we first got there it wasn't too bad we went into the Dr. Seuss little lane we got to get on two rides really quickly which is really cool I'm going to show you a few clips now of that. After 
that, we walk towards the Harry Potter theme. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Harry Potter. I know I've tried so hard to get into it and I just can't. And it's crazy because I love that kind of stuff. <sighs> I don't know. I just can't. But the ride was amazing. Now, let me tell you, the line though, it was insanely long. We waited about over an hour to get on this ride. And it was funny because like as we walk, you know, you'd curve and I'm like, oh, we're almost there, babe. And then again, nope, we're not there. Then we get into like the actual hotel and I'm like, look, we're getting closer. And no, it's like, it was just forever going ever, 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 forever. It felt like, um, and it was hot. You had your mask on, your feet are killing you because you can't sit down. Two hours later, we're finally kind of at the front of the ride. I think this is the front of the ride. We might get in there and have to make like 10 more turns, <laughs> but hopefully this is it. If not, I think I'm going to cry. Like, look at this, more and more line. Like it just goes on and on. Like you think you're reaching the end. And there we go, more lines. It's like you thought. But the ride was actually crazy insane. It is the Hogwarts train station when you're on a motorbike. I did not get on the motorcycle. I made him get on it. I got in the little like car seat next to it. And let me tell you something, guys, this ride is crazy fast. It is unpredictable. I, I'm a screamer when I get on roller coasters and stuff. So I'm screaming. Definitely a must do if you go to Islands of Adventure to get on this ride. Yeah, so we just finished. What was this one called? Hagrid <laughs> something. What she said. <laughs> and it was super cool. Like, I loved it. I was not expecting that. The speed, how cool it looks. It was a very fun ride. Yeah, it took us an hour to get on, but it was fun. The market? Yes. <laughs> Overall, it was a great time. We ended up going back to the Jurassic Park way. So we entered Jurassic Park and we got on a ride there, which was really neat, which I'm going to show you now. The Ultrasaurs and this are among the largest creatures ever on the Earth. Yet despite their awesome size, these gentle giants pose no threat to us. Then they had this one section where you could go into, we didn't go into, but Jose got a really cool video of it, of the blue, if you watch the last Jurassic Park, which I'm gonna show you now. I have to say the effects are crazy. Like it, it legit looks real. And I, I give them a lot of credit for that. We came across a few shows, which I'm gonna show you Madagascar. Um, they were dancing and singing, which is really neat. After Jurassic Park, you come into Skull Island, um, which I think is so cool. I love the movie. We didn't get to get on the ride. They did have this really cool place where like you could take pictures by. And as I was standing there, I found this little piece of jewelry. Well, I'm like, oh wow, what's this? And if you pick it up, you read it. And these people go around and they hide little gifts throughout the park. And if you find one, you can either re-gift it like put it somewhere else and hide it or you take a picture of it and you tag them in the Facebook post showing that you got this gift, which I thought was really cool. Then we did some more walking because that's what you do. You do a lots of walking in theme parks. Um, we went and got something to eat. And then after that, we went on the Spider-Man ride, which was really neat. It's in 3D and you had to wear some glasses, but it was like so animated and so cool. I'm going to show you now some of that.
So as the night was ending, we decided to do some water rides, which we got on one ride and we didn't get wet too much. It was just like a sprinkle, but look at Jose's face. This is hilarious because he got, he did get some somewhat wet. Um, after that, we started walking and they have the one ride where it's like a big circle and you sit in it. And let me tell you, I got soaked. And not only did I get soaked, he kind of like pushed me this way a little bit. So when the water came down, it just soaked me. I was soaking wet from head to toe, but it was a lot of fun. It was the last ride. So it didn't really matter walking around wet, you know, wet shoes with clothes. Overall, it was a really fun time. I've never been to Islands of Adventure. This was the first time as for him as well. So it was great memories to make. Coming up in May, I want to say the 15th actually that just passed. They're no longer recommending that you have to wear a mask anymore, which, you know, I don't know. Everybody feels different about that. Some care, some don't. You know, it depends. Florida's kind of like on this whoo no mask type of thing but I still wear a mask depending on where I'm going so we get back to the hotel just hung out for a bit and you know the next day we headed back home so this year I celebrated Cinco de Mayo we had some drinks and we hung out I made some tacos even Tiffany and Omar stopped by for a bit you know to hang out it was a nice time we played Fortnite together yes I play Fortnite not the best but hey I get some kills in and I get killed a lot <laughs> so there's a must in Florida if you're here you've got to see the wiki watchy it's beautiful it's a spring there's no salt water the water is beautiful you can see right through the bottom so I took him there we swam around for a bit hung out fortunately though if you don't know what a deer fly horse flies they suck and for some reason they're really bad there I got bit once he got bit like five times so we ended up not staying too long but it was a lot of fun so happy Mother's Day we went to my mom's house to you know have dinner with my parents um, he got me flowers and my daughter got me this cute little bear and he also made chocolate strawberries which I don't have but I have him cooking them um, he also bought my mom flowers on a card which was really sweet so before we left we went to another beach which is out in Sarasota it's called Siesta Keys now what's cool is when you go to Sarasota they have the Skyway Bridge it's this huge bridge that goes really tall up. A lot of people don't like going over it when the winds are really bad. They actually shut it down because it's so tall. Siesta Keys is about two and a half hours away from where I live. The beach was beautiful. It was really packed though. It's crazy how packed things have been lately. Um, we hung out there. We went swimming again. We took some cool pictures. We watched the sunset. Unfortunately, it was so clouded that you really couldn't see the sunset, but I got some cool pictures of that. We stayed till about eight o'clock-ish and then we headed back home. The last day that he was here, we just hung out at the house. Didn't really do much, you know, getting ready for the drive back to Jersey now again it's the same thing you know Florida Georgia South Carolina and in South Carolina we did drive through the south of the border I don't know if you've ever seen that if you've been in South Carolina but they have this little attraction that has a bunch of shops it wasn't open um, it was all kind of closed down probably because it was during the week and not the weekend but here are some cool pictures of what it looks like <laughs> got into North Carolina as we know the gas crisis was going on and we couldn't find gas so we decided to stay the night all right so we're stuck no gas hopefully to tomorrow and we're staying here so hopefully by tomorrow we find gas now we're gonna have to call AAA and see if they give us gas maybe I don't know how that works but yeah look is this is this woman's fault for going so slow oh yeah look look right here it's here mm -hmm. The next morning I downloaded Gas Buddy, which helped and we found gas and we didn't have an issue the rest of the way to Jersey. We drove back out in Thursday night and Friday I flew back home. My friend Leonella picked me up from the airport out in Orlando and we went to get dinner. And let me tell you, it was crazy packed. Like it was, I know it was a Friday, but like it was insanely packed. I'm just like, what is going on? We went to one restaurant and it was over an hour wait. So I was like, nah, so we went across the street and we went to the steakhouse, which is really cool. I've never been, um, food was great best steak I ever had I have to say hands down and then we drove back and just hung out for a bit and that was about it so I got a new camera that I want to start vlogging with maybe do a little bit different vlogs instead of me sitting here and talking to you guys and showing you pictures do more of you know a vlog where I'm holding the camera and talking at the same time let me know down in the comments if you guys think that would be cool if you'd like to see that I also know that my vlogs come and go I do one and then about a month later I do another one which I'm hoping soon that will be changing I'm going to start uploading a lot more 
tour involving you guys doing adventures doing a lot more vlogs so stay tuned for that don't give up on me you know stay with me guys now i have a funny blooper that you have to watch um i did something to jose so check it out <laughs> Boom, <laughs> kick your ass. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yes. oh. Oh. You're going to regret it. You're going to regret it next time we go somewhere. Oh. Payback is a wonderful thing. My, my friends, payback oh, is a wonderful God. thing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, we'll see you guys. Love you.